Number 29, we're supposed to graph the equation y equals negative 6 with a domain of x is greater than or equal to 5. If we're going to do that, make a table of values. This one's kind of unique because we just have y equals negative 6. All we care about is that y is negative 6. x doesn't even really factor into this, except that we can't just pick any values for x because they said you can only pick x values greater than or equal to 5. We should always pick the highest or lowest value. In this case, 5 is the lowest value it can be. So I'm going to pick x as 5. Then I can pick any numbers x greater than 5. I'm going to keep my life simple, pick 6 and 7. If you start plotting those points, I like to make a big dot at the end point. Again, that's when x is 5. And when x is 5, the y value is negative 6. So 5, negative 6, that's kind of my stop sign. My line is going to have to stop at that point. Then we've got 6, negative 6, 7, negative 6. So you can see when I create this, it's going to make a ray. It's going to stop here and go forever in this direction. There's our graph. Our range describes all the possible y values. Well, if you look at the y values here, negative 6, negative 6, negative 6, they never change. You could go to infinity in the right positive direction, and no matter where you go, the y value is always going to be negative 6. We'd signify that with the equation. y is, or y equals, negative 6 no matter what.